Choo! What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. Before we jump in, I gotta let you know that Raycon is sponsoring today's video. Raycon is premium audio for the perfect price point, so you can build great habits without breaking the bank. Whether you're looking for a pair of everyday earbuds, low latency gaming headphones, or a speaker with a battery that'll last all night at your next party, Raycon's got you covered. And that's right, Raycon started at half the price of other premium audio brands. So you don't even have to choose between products. You can get one of each or a pair and a spare and still pay less than you would with some of the other guys. Even if you know that you'll love Raycons as much as I do, Raycon wants you to feel great about your next purchase. They offer buy now and pay later options. Every purchase has an easy and free return guarantee. It's no wonder that Raycon's everyday earbuds have over 50,000 five star reviews. One of my personal favorite features of these Raycon earbuds is the awareness mode, which allows you to listen to music or a podcast or whatever you might listen to, but you can still hear your surroundings. It's perfect for jogging and operating heavy equipment. You can simply change the modes after you put them in by tapping and holding this button right here on the side until you hear the mode change. And once you put these earbuds in, they are not falling out. They're super comfortable and the best part is they're sweat and water resistant. So if you accidentally leave these suckers in your pocket throw them in the wash, you got nothing to worry about. I love wearing my Raycon earbuds when I'm on long flights, going from filming shoot to filming shoot, operating heavy equipment, doing chores around the house. Literally anytime I want to listen to music, I've got my Raycon earbuds on me. So if you're ready to buy something small with a big impact, click the link down in the description down below or go to buyraycon.com slash flare to get 15% off your next purchase. Huge shout out to Raycon for sponsoring today's video. It's brands like them that I partner up with that allow me to do it every single day, which is making videos for you guys at home to enjoy. So with that being said, let's get back to the video. Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another video. That's right. We were on Amazon the other night, and we found out that they actually sell pews. Legit pews that you could take out hunting. And so I went on there and bought the most expensive one, and today we're going to put it to the test. Wah bam, Banjo. You better cover up that. We don't need anyone doxing you, Banjo. You cover that up right now. That people are going to start sending you nudie magazines to get you in trouble. Really? Yeah. Go ahead and take it out. Go ahead. Let's see it. Look at that mamma jamma. Amazon. Bam. I didn't, did you know they sold these on Amazon? No. I couldn't believe it. It's like it. my idea. It so was yeah. Banjo's idea. Banjo's like, like, hey, like, they gotta sell you ever bought cool. one of these guns on here? What do you think? Does it work? I don't know. You gotta read the owner's manual. So this is, an, it's an air rifle, air gun. There's a tank, like a scuba tank right here, and you fill it full of air, and you shoot, and they said like this is high powered enough to kill like hogs, like legit hunting. You take it coyote hunting, you can take it squirrel hunting, rabbit hunting, all that stuff like that. Shoots 22 size pellets, and so we are at Walmart. You might be wondering why we're at Walmart. Well, we gotta go get stuff to shoot. We gotta put it to the test. We gotta see accuracy, and more importantly, Banjo's favorite, penetration. We gotta see how far this sucker is gonna penetrate because we gotta see, is this thing a lethal weapon for hunting purposes? And you can buy it on Amazon, which is crazy. The other gun that they had on there that we may have to try out down the road is they actually make an air-powered shotgun. I'm a big fan I, of Trapper Jay. Huh? Yeah, we're Trapper Jay. Oh yeah, that's us, we're Trapper Jay. Uh, so uh, anyway, so they make an air-powered shotgun that shoots a bunch of BBs, but it's air-powered. Same thing, it's crazy. These things are like $1,200. Um, so that might be something that if you guys like these videos, listen in the comment section down below right now, and we will buy the shotgun and go take it hunting. So with that being said, Banjo's entering the back door. Let's see what we can find. All right, so we're, we're starting off in this area. This is the target practice area. Ooh, what is that guy? Is that a steel plate? It is. Wow. <laughs> think really? it's a little overkill for a pellet gun or no? Yeah, I probably don't need that. What about, we probably should get some like nice targets, targets. like this though. This is like the splatter one, is that one? Oh, yeah, that's yeah, definitely yeah, a splatter. splatter. Oh yeah. All right, there you go. Comes with cardboard and everything. Cool. Hey guys, ready? What about ammunition? Do they have ammunition here? Well, let's see, ooh, 22, perfect. They got, oh, they have a few. So we got 22. Yeah. I, I guess I should see what they have here. What's their most expensive? 169, I spent almost 10 times that. Maybe we'll have to do a Walmart versus Amazon gun challenge at some point. That might have to be the deal. So we'll grab some of that 22 ammo. A, um, what's going on there? Is that a nice yeah. fresh bow? Oh God, yeah. So that'll work for at least sighting it in. It, does, it didn't come with a scope. Can you believe that? Spent like $1,100, yeah, didn't come with a scope. Great. We just, today is not necessarily about accuracy. Like I want to see. Oh, I forgot they have night vision oh, goggles. Well, why? <laughs> why? I feel like those are so excessive for Walmart. Get them. She think we should just go. I think you should get them. Should we go? Oh, you know what would be good for with this gun is shooting raccoons out of a tree because we're really good at that. Oh yeah. That this would be the perfect pew for that. That would be. I, I don't yeah. know. The night vision made me think about that. Like calling raccoons out of the tree and then shooting them with the so air gun. I just like cool. sighting them for you. Like see them. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, yeah. You scout for me. Yeah. yeah that's probably legal. Just get to do the uh, call. 
Can you do that a little louder? No, I'm alright. Okay. He's just barking like a dog. Yeah, that's what they sound like. They they, they they come up and run it. They get all pissed. So, anyways, this gun we're thinking obviously it's not going to be for deer, but we're thinking predator dispatching, and it's it should be in theory more quiet than like a 22. So this is something that don't tell anyone I told you this, but you could potentially shoot it in a neighborhood or something if you need to take out some squirrels, right? Is that can you do that? No, no. You can. You can't shoot a BB gun in the neighborhood, BB dude. I killed. Gun, so, oh, well, what's I the difference? That. What's the difference? What's the difference? It's it's air powered. Okay. I shot hell of hell guns in the, my backyard when really I lived in the city back in. You, I'm just saying. My point is the reason why. Just out, this kid out of his godforsaken. We just started the video. I'm just saying the reason why you maybe want an air-powered rifle is because you could use it in more residential environments. Maybe it's illegal. You probably should look it up. I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just trying to figure out why would somebody want one of these? What's the benefit? It's not like it's quiet either. It's like a. I mean, I assume it's about like a air. like a 22. Yeah, I bet. We it's could bad. test the. I wish I had a decibel reader. That would be something cool to oh, test. Sure. Is to see. I mean, we could always just see which one we think is louder. But anyways, okay. So we need to find stuff to shoot. Okay. What like? Do you think it would pop a basketball? Like oh, that, I feel like I feel like that's like. Have you seen that? You know what we should do? Overinflate it over and slam inflate it. it. Let's overinflate it, then shoot it. All right, so we might need to get two. Oh, that okay. that kind of scares me. Let's do it. Overinflating. Get, all right, get two. Get two. Get two. They're five bucks. Yeah, five bucks. So we'll we'll see if. I mean, that's pretty. Like that's some like leather. Oh yeah, that's that's not a good one. You know, they're like a, a thick leather, like maybe like a hog yeah, skin it, of some sort. Like, if, if, if the pellet can pop that, I'd be pretty impressed. It could pop some, some, some skin then. I mean, yeah, it would definitely go through you. So, what would happen there? This we're going to overinflate some bottles, or oh, balls and, and slam them. And the slam them? That's yeah. so cool. So, we're going to get, we got two for one overinflating, but then I figured that's probably pretty close to like some tough, like, hog skin. You know, like if it can shoot through that, you think it's pretty durable? I think it can shoot through it. I bet it can. I, I mean, I hope for 1200 bucks, I hope I it can. Yeah. All right, so let's go find some fruits. And that was one thing I thought of is like lining up a bunch of fruits or lining up a bunch of pop cans. We got to see Banjo's favorite, which is the penetration factor and see what, huh? Did you tell the person on your phone you're testing penetration right now or no? <laughs> it was a business call, so I You did definitely not. should have told them you were testing penetration then. All right, we'll see you guys over by the food. Oh yeah, carbonated beverages. What is this? I tried it the other day. R why? Because it I. It's a lemon lime. It. It tastes just like Sprite. It's starry. Yeah. Wait, that's the. Uh, they, someone was getting rid of minute or not minute made. What's it? Yeah, yeah, what's yeah. mellow yellow? No. They were, no, no, the no, other no, one, no, the, no. the other Sprite. What's the? Sierra Mist. Sierra Mist. So is this the new Sierra Mist? So is this the same brand? I kind of Pepsi. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, why? Starry's so, better than Sierra so Mist, it's really. really? So Sierra Sierra Mist it's totally the same. same. They just rebranded a Starry. Yeah. All right, marketing guy, you're out of here. You're fired. Get out of here with that. Oh, Mountain Lightning or nothing. I it squirt, though. <laughs> okay, Banjo's, he's all about the penetration of the squirt here. So we're going to go ahead and get one of them bottles. All right, let's see what other, what else you got there. We got to get a couple, see how many should we try to shoot through a pack? Like, these are already set up and ready to go. Yeah. You just, yeah. wham, yeah. and just shoot them. Yeah. Okay, you got that, perfect. What else do you think? Should we do cans instead? Or both, there you go, you got it. Thank you. Let's see, what else would you shoot? Maybe some fruit? Like a watermelon's gotta be the same like consistency of your of your, your head, you think? Dome? Yeah, like, should I look it up? What's what's the most similar what, thing to a human? fruit compares to yeah, a, to human, a head. human head? There's gotta be something, I right? I that. All right, Siri. Let's see what Siri has to say. Cause there's got to be a watermelon. Really? <laughs> yeah. A human body is mostly water. A watermelon is mostly water. Both have in common technical usage of density, and about the same density. Watermelon versus the human head density. There's an article about it. What fruit is most comparable to a human skull? A coconut. Yeah, that makes sense. I was like, our school's way harder than like a watermelon outside yeah. of coconut. So okay, so coconut would be like literally going through your your skull, your actual yeah. skull. Oh, how strong is a watermelon compared to a skull? Not even close. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say right, I lied. How? I, I lied. We should definitely get some we we'll, get we'll get watermelon. But yeah, too. coconut, you're right. Coconut would be So if it basically if it penetrates a coconut, yeah. you could potentially Don't say it. You get it. All right. Big old melon. Maybe it'd be cool to see if it goes like through. There you got it. There it is. You got some nice melons. It'd be cool to see if it actually like goes through. Do you find coconuts? Yeah. Really? Couple, yeah. yeah, we'll get a couple. That's so that. basically if it goes through this, and if it thing. goes through that, we could definitely take a hunt. Yeah. I mean it's it's confirmed this thing is a lethal weapon. So let's get a couple coconuts. We got a watermelon. We've got some caffeinated beverages. We're gonna take it home. Give it the old pump pump. Oh, Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> <This guy. laughs> Don't drop your squirt. What are you doing? I won't. Oh, he, he lost the can. I got it. All right, we'll see you guys at the house. 
got too much stuff. Shoo! Alrighty, folks, we made it home. It's a little chilly out here, but look, the lake is open. The pond has a little bit of ice. We were discussing maybe banjo. Look at that, Ricky Prant. Look at that. Uh, Banjo should do a falling through the ice tutorial. You thirsty? Dude, I, I would go for some coconut water. I don't like coconut, but I don't mind coconut water. It ain't I bad. It. I love yeah. coconut. Does anyone know the difference? So when I like, I've been to like, India we had it a bunch, and Brazil. They were like big and green. What, do you know what the difference between those are? Like coconuts, I'm used to like, when I drink them, they're like huge. What, what's, That's I'm sure somebody weird. knows. This is an American coconut, homegrown. Yeah. Is that what it is? Farm raised? No idea. No GMO? Got it, okay. Organic. I say, I just heard some snows though. Hand us. Really? Can do a snow video. I mean, say, Sue, get that thing locked and loaded. Let's see what it does. I'm just kidding. We're not. Those cannas are getting horny though. Anyway, so there's Banjo's pump. So in order to get the penetration going, he has to give the pump. And so we've got the old. Actually, that pump is specifically designed for the air guns. Where? You gotta call him in, Banjo. Spit on it. Huh? Really? Who spit? Yeah. Give me a spit. He spit right there, so it goes in easier. Really? You never did that as a kid? No, I, I sucked yeah. on it usually. No, I didn't do that. <laughs> what? So this pump is not just for the basketball. This is actually designed to pump the gun up. So we don't know. I'm getting away from this situation here. I don't know how much to pump. Why are you so far away? You got to come pump. You got it. I get your hands up. <laughs> he goes a little bit. I feel like you need to throw it like on. A, do you think the ground's gonna do it? No, it has to be hard. You can throw out the steps or the cabin. <laughs> just you just blow a hole right through the cabin. I mean, you could. I wish we had hard ice because that'd be really. Oh cool. yeah, the ice would be perfect. Oh my god. I think you should huge. give her a go. Yeah. That thing looks like it's about to blow it up. Looks like it's gonna explode. Is, oh. is it bad? <laughs> I'm scared, bro. I'd, what do you, do you try to kick it? Where should I throw it? On the the staircase is probably the hardest. Should I throw it like up or at Yeah, try to. I, no, throw it at right. the staircase, yeah. Oh, oh rip. Rip. Yeah. rip. Now you get to shoot it. I say, I, at least I can shoot it from there. Yeah. Dude, I get scared. I don't, I, I'm not about this life, okay? Man, that was disappointing. That was disappointing. All right, here, let's get, we'll get the few going. So. We've got some coconuts, some sodas. We got this nice Target. You wanna yep. get that unwrapped? We, maybe sure. we can set that, maybe not by the cabin window, but anywhere else would work. We got this bad boy. This is the old Mamma Jamma. It's a Hercules Bully, is what it's called. Air rifle, precision air rifle. Ooh, the sights are pretty good. Oh yeah, that's how you fill it, right? Yep. Open that up. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to, is it, is it this? Yeah. Like a little revolver? Yeah, pull that and then. Pull the charging handle all the way back, and now you can pull it out. So you load them like this, huh? Yeah. So like I said, these do shoot them 22s, which are bigger. Like normally a normal Pell gun's like a 177. These are a little bit more powerful than that. Hawk Diablo. Oh my, dude, that's a pretty good chunk of lead. That is a big one. I mean, that's a big chunk. Is this extra mag? Yeah. What is, no way. Oh yeah. They let you just mag dump this sucker? Mm -hmm. I didn't pay attention. You load it. I didn't pay attention how I pulled it out. Was oh, it this? Uh, the that looks right. The, nope, that's back. Really? The side of the extra dimples goes forward. See these little extra ones? Yeah, okay. Because that's what rolls it, that little second piece. Oh, yeah. So I you see. need to load them through the back. Shove it in the back door, he says. Yep. Is that it all the way? If this goes all the way back, it is. Yep. Okay. Should I just shoot the target first? All right, right now we are at... 160 bar, which is how many PSI? A couple a thousand, lot. two, 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 three thousand bar, or two, three thousand PSI. All right, fire in the hole, boys. Dang. Whoa, whoa, that thing's pretty loud, bro. Loud. I heard it bouncing. Yeah, Did you hear keep it? Going. I mean, that wasn't bad. For the first shot. Should <laughs> I shoot the steeler? Is that gonna come back and hit us? No, I think, think it'll be all right. So you have to just rack you it? You just rack it and it'll roll that thing like a revolver. Dude, this thing's sick. Yeah. All right, we're going after some steel. Here we go. Dinged it. Dang, dude. I don't. I bet it's about the same loudness of a twenty-two. Yeah, it's about. It the doesn't same. seem any Might quieter. Might be a little quieter. Should I shoot the basketball? Yeah. yeah. Deflated it. Rip. It didn't. It didn't go boom. Yeah. We got I hit it though. I hit it. It penetrated. It penetrated. 
Look out. <laughs> about died. It penetrated the basketball, it though. Shake it up, Banjo. I mean, if it penetrated the basketball, the squirt test should be no problem. Do you ever drink this stuff? Yeah. I've had it before. It ain't, I don't think it's that it's bad. I mean, it went through the basketball. I think the biggest test is the coconuts. Because if it can go through this sucker, then this thing, in my opinion, would be a lethal hunting weapon. So I've shot, what, five, six times? Yeah. It's gone down not much. Once you pump this it's sucker just a up, tiny little blast. It takes mm -hmm. a lot to pump it up, though. I'll be honest. It took about 15, 20, at least, right? Or 30? Was it 30 minutes? Like 30 minutes? 30 minutes of pumping with the bike pump. They make automatic ones that they're $300, and I was too cheap to get them. Now I regret it. But it's like once you get it pumped up, you're pretty much good to go. So, all right, let's go see if we can make it squirt. All right, Bandit's going to make it squirt in three, two, one. Whoa! Look at the look at the distance you're getting. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. What are you doing? It missed. It missed. Just look at that. That went in and out. And that wow. shot that shot really far. Yeah. That squirt has some distance on it. I mean, it went all the way over there. It squirted. It went after. Yeah, it was that was nice. I mean, it, it went through there pretty good. <laughs> she flew right on through. I wow. mean, so I mean, obviously like going that. through a basketball, I, I assume this wouldn't be a problem. But the exit's about the same as the entrance, though. It's not like yeah. a normal bullet that has a big exit. So now we've got these lined up. And so we will see. We've made it squirt. Now we got to see what kind of penetration this thing has. All right, she's cock locked. Ready to rock, boys. Going for the Sprite. Oh, Ooh. only four. Hey. Really? That's not that impressive. We... The... We still got juice. That's not that impressive. Oh, this one didn't even get a hole in it. No way. So three? Whoa. I wonder if it's... Veering off? Yeah, if it's just kind of ricocheting. I don't have much faith in the, faith in the Dr. Pepper bottles now. Yeah. But, Seems all right, you're up. Really? Yep. Was... The squirt was... There it is. Give it the suck. You got it. How was that? Not good. Really? I don't like grapefruit. <laughs> no? Gra no? That's grapefruit? Grapefruit? Isn't that Grapefruit, he's right. I didn't. Well, I didn't know it was grapefruit. Yeah. I thought it was like lemonade. <laughs> I don't know what that stuff what? is. There's a. There's. A, oh, that's not a lemon. See, I thought that was a lemon. Yeah, that's my grapefruit. problem. Whoa! Not very many. Whoa! She was getting after it though. That only go. Okay, this thing is not that lethal, bro. It's really not. No, this is. This thing's kind of a weenie hot junior. What's going on here? Yeah, I don't know. So that one's got a hole. Does this have a hole? It's oh, got yeah. to. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, she's she's getting it. She's giving. Just three. There's no way this is more lethal than a 22. Just two. Oh, really? Two. Just two. Yeah, 22 would go through them all. Yeah. yeah. All right, so this thing's kind of this thing's kind of weenie hut. Yeah, this thing's kind of weenie hut, Junior. I'll be honest. Should we give her a give her a quick pump? Oh, it's in there. Oh, really? Yeah. See what the ballistics look like. Let's see if it mushrooms or what. Oh yeah, she flattened out. Wow. Yeah, she doesn't have that much penetration. Really not. I think we need to give her a good pump. Really? Before. Well, we have what? We have watermelon and then coconut? Yeah. yeah. Coconut's got to be the final, I would say. Do you think it'll get through a watermelon? It might not. I don't know if it'll go all the way through it. I don't know either. This don't, thing, don't this, think it's this, is this thing coconut. still in the green? Is this still telling green? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah you're, over, like you're over 100. So, all right. Well, let's grab this watermelon and see if it'll go through watermelon. It doesn't have to go through the coconut. It just needs to penetrate one side, meaning it doesn't need to have like a pass through. I think it's going to get stopped in here. You think so? Sure. It's not going through this. Too. It'll, go, it'll go in it. So if the watermelon stops, this is not a, a lethal hunting weapon, in my opinion. I don't think so. You just spent a thousand dollars on like something that just yeah. didn't really be a whole lot of good. So, all right, band's gonna set down the watermelon and let's see if we can puncture it with the Amazon pew. Stay tuned. All right, watermelon test. Three, two, one. It went in. It went in. Did it go out, okay. dude? A twenty-two would put this thing to shame, bro. It went out. Oh! It went out. We have a pass through. Look at wow. this. Wow. It went through, all the way through, right there. Really? There's like no explosion. There's no inertia no. behind this thing. It just poked a Because, a, dude, a 22 yeah. would blow it out. Look at that. Like the 22 for sure would have blown the back out on that side. It had yeah. to have. This, thing's, this thing does not have a lot of actual, like, once it goes in, it doesn't do anything. It just, it's like a pencil hole. Yeah. So it shouldn't, it wouldn't be that good for hunting. No. Because you want your exits to go. Yeah. So that way the animals bleed out. If you shoot, start shooting, like, that's why you can't shoot FMJ yeah. at deer because that, basically an FMJ is full metal jacket so it doesn't expand like a lead, just a straight up lead bullet would, which means the animals have a less likelihood of dying, which is why they're prohibited. That's basically what this is doing. Yeah. A coyote's not dying. No. 
I don't think so. I would say squirrel, you're okay. And rabbit, you're okay. A raccoon with a very carefully placed shot, maybe yeah. at a close distance. Possum, raccoon. That's Possum biggest, and raccoon, maybe. Biggest I'd go. But for a di for a dispatcher, this sucker is huge. Yeah. You ain't like, him. I could buy like seven twenty twos for the price of this. Yeah. The question is, what do people use this for? If it's not a, a very good lethal weapon for hunting purposes, mm -hmm. I doubt it's more accurate than a twenty two. No. What do you, why do people, air pressure's changing why, every why, why do people spend $1,200 on this? That's my question. Maybe they don't. No, just I, it's, just, it's just me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is this equivalent to changing mags? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on guys, minutes. one minute. I'll be back in an hour. We did this for 30 minutes. We as in these guys, I wasn't even there. 30 minutes to pump that up. Not even to get it completely full, about halfway the pressure that you need. But since we've been shooting, it's only dropped about a quarter of the way. But literally this for 30 minutes. Who uses these? These are the most ineffective, least lethal weapons I've ever seen. I mean, it makes sense why they sell them on Amazon, because they're not even guns, in my opinion. Hey, at least this they is... made this camo in case you need to take it to the field. Oh, you, heaven forbid the deer sees your freaking bike pump when you're reloading. Yeah, that would, <laughs> like, that would really just, that'd really just bump, bump the deer out of the, out of the county there, I'm sure. So, all right, we're going to top it off. We're going to get full pressure, and we got two coconuts, and we've got one more basketball that Jake has volunteered under his own will and signed no... Signed waiver. Yeah, signed the waiver. He's gonna try to make it explode, so stay tuned. All right, can this penetrate a human skull? Banjo. No way, it ain't doing it. You're not, you're not, you're saying no? All right, three, two, one. I hit it. Yeah? I hit it. I will say it's fairly accurate. It is. I don't think we've missed much. No. Did we get any penetration? Oh, it didn't. It shanked off of it right there. Nope. I might not have got a clean, clean a square, hit. a square hit. Maybe I'll try. Give me a little bit more surface area, or I'll put it like that. Oh, I hit a Dr. Pepper. Did it bounce off the coconut and then hit the Dr. I think Pepper? So. <laughs> I think it's just ricochet, isn't it? I mean, it, got the, it got the Dr. Pepper real nice. Maybe I didn't even hit this. Maybe I just hit the Dr. Pepper. Did I hit that? That was a no looker, bro. <laughs> no way. Did I hit that one? There's nothing. Oh, I lied. I hit it with the no looker. It didn't go all the way through though. Is it, that's it? the that's the the hole. You, you yeah. don't have a knife on it's you, do you? I do. I do. You want to try to cut it open? You think it'll work? How? You can pull that bullet out of there. I, I want to see how, how deep not how very. deep it penetrated. So it'd be more than a mosquito, but not probably by much. That Where's insane. that crow at? Give me the old mouth call. I see him, I see him. Yeah, I see him right there, right there. Didn't go very far, I'll tell you that. You're down to the, the meat, though. Yeah. How's that taste? It's like lead. <laughs> it's like a lead poisoning right there. It's good. Rip. So we, you think you got like a half inch of penetration? I don't know. Usually that does the job. Really? Yeah. He's winning, you're the coconut. Me? Did you get it? Really? I did, are you? Oh yeah, you got it. No, he's getting it. He's getting it. I see white. You get it? Yeah. Suck some of that juice out of there. Is the pellet in there or no? I don't know. I think it just... <laughs> Is that just horrible? It tastes like battery acid, dude. <laughs> That's ass. That's good. Dude, I hate coconut. I love coconut. It's my favorite. It's so, I it tastes coconut. like ass, bro. Drink that and tell me it doesn't taste like battery acid. Dude, it burnt my, it burnt my throat. It's really so dramatic. No. It's good. No. It's like coconut water. Jake, it, try I this. don't like coconuts. What about coconut water? You Never, had, water? Had, water. Never had it? Oh, you gotta try it. I don't think it's good. There's floaters in it. What do you mean? <laughs> It'll be alright. Yeah. Give it a little sip. Dude, that's what I said. That's the worst thing you've ever had, isn't it? You like that, you sick bastard? I'm eating this. Yeah. Got night, Bane's got the snack for the day. He don't need lunch. That's disgusting. That that I like coconut water out of the big green ones. I don't know what the difference is. It tastes like dirty water. That was gross. Yeah, that's just nasty. I hate that. My throat's on fire right now. I might be allergic. Probably. He's still. <laughs> he's not. He's, he's, he's eating the husk the whole time too. He's not even just peeling off the meat. I'm good. He's eating the whole thing. All right. Well, I would say the Amazon gun will potentially leave a pellet barely into your skull. 
it may it may it may leave a little blemish. Will it kill somebody? Probably not. Could it kill a coyote? I would say if it's a really good shot and it somehow weaves between all the ribs and then hits the heart, maybe you'll find it a few miles away. Other than that, I would say squirrels. Maybe if those crows would have came in, we could have figured that one out. But I would say for the money, not worth it at all. You could buy a really nice rifle for 11, 1200 bucks. And that actually comes with a scope. Uh, the accuracy wasn't bad considering there's iron sights, but we have one final test and that's to see if Jake can pump that ball up to the point of explosion. So I'm thinking that other coconut. Oh. Banjo's gonna go eat the other coconut. I'm gonna go over here in case it blows up. Just, uh, you know, safety precaution wise here, but does it tell you how many PSI is it going in or? No. Really? I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, we still got ways to go, I think. That's a large basketball. Can we shoot it? <laughs> yeah, do whatever. Throw it on the side of the cabin. I don't really want to touch it. <laughs> Alright, you go ahead and you shoot it right there. Alright, no. Red! I don't like this thing. We, gotta, we need a pump that can actually tell you how much PSI you're putting in it, because then you don't die. Because then you just figure out the sweet spot. Yeah. Otherwise you die. Sorry for the disappointment, but we, I mean, sucks. you give it the old, you give it a pump for quite some time. We must get the wrong basketballs. Or yeah, it could be the bad. These things are just, well, it's warm. Is that weird? There's your, uh, there's your bullet hole right there. Yeah, that's it. That's crazy how small that is. Did it even go through the other side? No. Yeah, right there. Oh, it did. Yep. Full pass through. Full pass through of the basketball. Uh, coconut. Barely gets in there, but I think I just wasted 1200 bucks. But it was all for you guys' entertainment, so it's always worth it. I just tell myself that before I go to bed every day, so then I wake up and go do it again. Snows? Oh, they're migrating. Lob one up there and see what happens. Right. I'm just kidding. All right, well, if you guys enjoyed today's video, I would highly recommend never buying a gun from Amazon. But if you want to see us buy the shotgun, which is actually more expensive, and take that to the test, let us know in the comment section down below. But I would highly suggest not getting this, I'll be honest. It just I don't know what you would do with it. It's the most inconvenient, difficult thing to run, operate. It's heavy, it's bulky, and it's less effective than an actual 22. And it's not any quieter than a 22. So if I was you, I'd just get a 22. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Peace.